All that and more up next on Northwest Backroads. Bad credit? Need a car? Pierre Money Mart guarantees credit approval. Guaranteed credit approval. Apply online at PierreMoneyMart.com or call. 800-800-8553. Advantage Topical Solution treats dogs, but destroys fleas. So ask your veterinarian for Advantage, the flea specialist, for gentle but effective flea control. This hospital serves an area about the size of the state of Maryland. We were in real jeopardy of losing this hospital. But Senator Murray came through for us. She cut through the federal red tape and got the support to pass a law that saved the hospital. Patty saved 1,500 local jobs. Today, we have the top-rated hospital in the state, a state-of-the-art hospital right here in Wenatchee. Thanks to Senator Murray. I'm Patty Murray, and I sponsor this ad because I want to continue helping people and solving problems. I know you love this car. A lot of memories. I'm glad you're all right. At the Hartford, we hear from our AARP auto insurance customers all the time. But not just about savings and benefits for drivers 50 and over. Usually, they just want to thank us for making a difficult time a little less difficult. It's perfect. Where'd you find it? I was just driving up here. There's The AARP auto insurance program from the Hartford. It's the Unbeatable Brands event at Ross with designer brands for the way you live at prices you will absolutely love. Yeah, the Ross, we've got what you're looking for. The brands, the styles, and so much more. You'll find unbeatable savings in store. Ross has the same designer brands as department stores at a fraction of the price. The Unbeatable Brands event at Ross. Don't miss it. We're doing the Puyallup, Monday at 7. Tonight on Northwest Backroads, visit Oysterville, Washington, and meet a man whose mission is to keep this historic town on the map. The only place in the whole world that can get an Oysterville oyster is Oysterville. Discover a sensational Long Beach tradition that turns gritty sand into great art. If you've ever wanted to be a lighthouse keeper, here's your chance. Visit a lighthouse keeper's home you can stay in. And it's not a visit to the beach without some kitsch. Visit the home of Jake the Alligator Man, a Long Beach institution. Discover Northwest Backroads. Hi, I'm Grant Goodeve. Welcome to Northwest Backroads. I'm on the Long Beach Peninsula in the town of Oysterville. Now this town goes way back. Settlers came here in 1854 and made their fortunes shipping local oysters down to San Francisco during the gold rush. Harvesters eventually wiped out native oyster beds and Oysterville went from boomtown to the sleepy little village that remains today. Now there's a man here who is working to preserve the legacy of Oysterville by, of course, raising oysters. But he has also discovered that man cannot live on shellfish alone. Dan Driscoll is a third-generation oyster farmer and the last oysterman in Oysterville, Washington. Thanks to him, when you travel to this tiny village at the north end of the Long Beach Peninsula and stop by Dan's processing plant, you can still buy the bivalve that gave this town its name back in the 1850s. The only place in the whole world that can get an Oysterville oyster is Oysterville. Oysterville Sea Farms is a family affair. That's Dan's daughter, Rose, on the boat with him. Dan's dad and brother can often be found out on the bay. This family has been in the shellfish business here on Willapa Bay since the mid-1930s. Oysterville Sea Farms has over 200 acres of uh, tide land. We raise oysters and clams on that tide land. All the oysters and clams that we sell are sold here at Oysterville Sea Farms. This is an oyster lover's paradise. Inside, you get a shucking lesson from Bob. We're gonna make some oysters on the half shell. Usually the bottom is cupped and the top is flat. Give it a little pry, look inside there, scrape it loose from the top, just like that. Fresh, just came in on this tide. Then outside, you can eat a few on the deck while you watch their cousins being harvested out in the mud flats at low tide. 
a good, fresh oyster from clean water, I'll always enjoy. I love oysters. Food doesn't get any more local. Dan made a deliberate decision to keep his business small and to remain in this place whose population is less than a dozen during the winter months. He says he's keeping the oyster in Oysterville. And these waters are some of the best in the world for farming oysters. For me, when I eat an oyster, which matters, what matters to me the most is water quality. And if you look around Willapa Bay, you can see there's very little housing next to the shore. There's no industry. So Willapa Bay is a very clean place, water quality wise. The thing that matters to me second is freshness. That's why we bring all our oysters out you know, the same day we sell them. The tide flats of Willapa Bay are owned or leased by dozens of different shellfish companies. These twigs with flotsam tied to their tops aren't as random as they appear. They actually mark property lines and harvest plots. Some operations are huge. Dan keeps his operations small. During low tides, Dan's crews of clam diggers and oystermen harvest the bounty by hand, and they bring it straight up from the beach to be cleaned and sold. Or they use Mother Nature's refrigeration system. So we like to keep everything in the water and store things in the water rather than our walk-in. The wa you know, refrigeration's great, but it really dries the product out, and it's, you know, it's, it's not as happy as it is in this natural environment. It's not easy making a living selling retail seafood in a ghost town, so Dan has expanded his business. He uses local recipes and some local products to make everything from jam to breading to breakfast cereal. He even offers a Washington-made Oyster Blanc wine that's perfect with, well, you can guess. And the money he makes selling Willow Bay specialty foods in his store and online goes right back into restoring the only oyster cannery left in Oysterville. It's a great lifestyle. I, I feel really connected. When I, when I go out in the tide flats, I mean, I, I, sometimes I'll be the only person out there for, you know, miles and miles. I feel good about what I'm doing. I feel good about the product we sell. Dan Driscoll says he doesn't want to see Oysterville become just another place where people used to do something interesting. His family and the other folks who work here feel the same way. So they're working together to keep this town on the map, one oyster at a time. You, the one thing I'm proudest of is that in this place, my customers, my employees, and I have managed to keep some part of history alive. You can find Willow Bay products online, but if you visit Oysterville Sea Farms, the only cannery left here in Oysterville, you can get a real appreciation for what Dan does and pick up some great fresh seafood as well. Be sure to bring a cooler. Up next, a sand sculpting contest on Long Beach. And later, play Lighthouse Keeper for the night. To get your free travel planner and discover more culinary adventures, please visit experiencewa.com. Hey, Jesse Jones here, King 5 News. Now I've got a story you won't believe coming up in our special 9 o'clock newscast. Now a woman buried in emails calls into tech support for help. We've all been there. Now the number they gave her, though, offered a whole different kind of support. Let's have a good time together. When the company gave her the brush off, it pushed her buttons, and she called me. For a good time, get Jesse. Sunday after the game on the Pete Carroll Show, King 5 News at 9. Please hang up and try your call again. Not that long ago, many families were priced out of an overheated housing market. The times have changed. Get the facts at Remax.com. It's a great place to see all the listings in thousands of cities and towns. With lots of houses to choose from and down-to-earth prices, the dream of owning a home seems more attainable than ever. Find out what an experienced Remax agent can do for you. Nobody sells more real estate than Remax. Visit Remax.com today. Have you ever walked into a mattress store and felt like you were being preyed upon? At Mattress Depot USA, you'll never feel that kind of pressure. We get it. Our sales team is friendly and extremely knowledgeable. We're a local company run by local people, and we offer the best quality mattresses from local manufacturers. At Mattress Depot USA, you'll always get a quality, comfortable mattress at the very best price. And you'll never have to wait for a sale. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. I got new carpet for this entire room. 
But I only had to pay for this much of it. Empire's 60% off sale is on again, and it's better than ever. Shop at home and save 60% on quality name brand carpet with no interest for one year. And we install next day. You can get a lot more carpet for a whole lot less. 60% off is huge. Call today. 800-588-2300 Empire. Today. Welcome back to Northwest Backroads from Oysterville on the Long Beach Peninsula. They have self-guided walking tours of this historic town and you can get maps online. In fact, I have mine, which shows me that this back here is the Oysterville Church built in 1892 at the cost of $1,500. Wow. Now south of here is the town of Long Beach where every July they have something called Sandsations. It's a sand sculpting free for all where hundreds enter few win, but everyone has a great time turning sand into art. We're down in Long Beach between 10th and uh, Bolstad, and it's right on the beach, right where the water is. This is really good weather for it because it's slightly overcast. There's still some moisture in the air. When it gets really hot, sometimes the sand dries out and sort of flies away, but this is very good weather for it. It takes a focus, focused energy to get it all done. We've only got five hours. The 48's got a 32, 24. To pound up all the sand and carve it, and that's not really enough time, so we have to really work fast and really be on task. Michael Velling is our fearless leader. He's the guy uh, with, the, with the helmet. He is a master carver. He's won world records and uh, uh, world championships, and he's really good at carving figures. Yo, yeah, oh, geez, record time. Cheap plans. What are you building? The scene is the train's coming in with Rocky Bullwinkle on it. They see Nell, like, whoa, what's happening? Snidely's hiding in the back, waiting for things to happen, and there's Boris trying to blow him up halfway through, too. So, a lot of things happening, fun stuff. Mm, it doesn't even look like sand. That's still got the boards around it. Uh -huh. they're using that. <laughs> Adrenaline's just do, 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 do. <laughs> Good time for it. We're, we're ready. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hey, two more buckets of that water at the far end here where Scott is. I like being outdoors in the sand. It's, it's, and at the beach, fresh air, working hard in the sand. Just something about playing in the sand, being dirty when you normally expect it to be clean. And just getting out here and don't care what goes on is great fun. Just kicking around. Creating something out of a block of sand that people just, it comes to life out of the sand. People just go crazy, they love it, especially the kids. And everybody likes playing in the sand. I don't care who they are. Right? Uh, this is the Sand Stations in Long Beach, and uh, it goes on into the afternoon. The judging finishes about 3 o'clock. Uh, we're looking for all different things when we judge. <laughs> There's a price you pay to be on this team. Some of the biggest things are the height, because height is very difficult in sand. We look for the use of the pit to make sure that the whole pit's being used. We like creativity. We like new ideas. Entertainment is good. Some of the teams are extremely entertaining. <laughs> See, that's an entertaining team for you. <laughs> These people that are here on the uh, Masters teams are extremely talented. They go all over the world with this, and we're very happy they're here in Long Beach. It's crazy and fun, and they get into it, and they're giggling, and they're laughing, and they're throwing sand around, and it looks like Gallagher. But after this, the whole energy changes, and it becomes just a real solitude, peaceful, almost spiritual time for them, that they're just all into their little projects. Uh, mostly it just takes patience and, uh, and uh, remembering that gravity is important here, you know, that you can't undercut things too much. Oh, it's going great. We're ahead of schedule here a little bit. Got a one piece, little piece started. I'm going to do in the front of the train here. Doing great. So right now it's going to be kind of trying to identify 
piece piece as it starts to develop. People enjoy doing that, watching the story start to unfold. So stay tuned for more. It's a lot of fun carving for people that appreciate what you're doing. They see things come to life and they're just like, wow, look at that. Look what's happening. Look what he's doing over here. Get this all troweled up and even nice. Nice and vertical here. If you're doing something that's a hard sculpture, it's got to be real vertical and real straight, or people pick it up as not as being crooked or something's wrong with it. So you've got to really be right on all the time. Unbelievable what they can do with sand. But it's going well, and as soon as I get this done, I can finish out the rest of Nell's body here pretty uh, pretty easily. It's just amazing. A lot of a lot of um, physical work to get it prepared, and then to carve it out is. Could have a little skill there. It's hard to envision, but you know, as you see him do that face, and boy, artists at work. So far, no disasters. Uh, it's starting to look like a person, so feeling pretty good. 20 minutes, boy, we're cramming now. Just get bigger, get the bigger tools out. Bullwinkle looks about as scared as I do here about getting done on time. The time limit's there, though. You got to make it work. 15 minutes left before it's all over. So you've been drinking again. Hard sand cafe rocks. Okay, how much time we got? We got about yeah. five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's jump out, Alan. Time's up. Gotta go. All right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Way to go, dude. I'm really proud of our team because we did our best car all year here. I love it. I just love being out here in the fresh air and. People love what we're doing, and uh, they appreciate what we're doing. That brings us back each year. But it's nice to watch the surf take one piece away at a time, and uh, that's a real thrill. It comes in, looks like they're all floating on the water when the surf comes in. It's, it's a treat. When the surf takes it out, it's great. Love it. Love it. Watch it going back where it came from. Long Beach's Sand Station Sculpting Contest happens every July. They kick things off on Friday night with sculpting lessons and a big bonfire, and then the contest begins on Saturday. They choose the exact weekend based on the tides for sculpting, and there are cash prizes, so you better start planning now for next year. Up next, we'll show you how you can be a lighthouse keeper for the night, and we'll visit the home of Jake the Alligator Man. I took my two-year-old Chevy to Mako. Can't even tell I was in an accident. Mako does collision? Sure, the work's great. And if you need repairs, check out Mako now. For a limited time, Mako will paint your bumper for only $149. Whatever your uh-oh, better get Mako. It's the Unbeatable Brands event at Ross with designer brands for the way you live at prices you will absolutely love. the same designer brands as department stores at a fraction of the price. The unbeatable brands event at Ross. Don't miss it. Honey, let's go someplace fun this year. I want to do a little hiking and visit some local festivals or maybe go shopping. You could go crabbing or clamming with the kids and we all could explore a tall ship and visit a lighthouse or search for treasure on the beach. Can we afford to do all that? Of course, we can go to Westport. Discover Westport on the Washington coast. Not far, but a world away. Do you need an auto loan? Could you benefit from a higher credit score? Of course you could. Hi, I'm Jim Longacre, author of Recreditpair, the country's number one credit improvement software. Credit experts agree that a vehicle purchase and timely payments can help reestablish your credit. That's why I've joined forces with Pierre Money Mart to offer you a complimentary copy of this powerful software. Learn how to improve your credit and get guaranteed credit approval only at Pierre Money Mart. Call now while supplies last. The Olympia Farmer's Market is now open every Thursday through Sunday from 10 to 3. Discover locally grown produce, fresh seafood, and arts and crafts made by local artisans, live entertainment, and world-class food. The Olympia Farmer's Market at the foot of Capitol Way in Olympia.
Welcome back to Northwest Backroads from Oysterville on the Long Beach Peninsula. We're taking a walking tour of this historic town, and I've got my map here that I printed out online, which tells me this is the Tom Crellin House, built in 1869, and the lumber used here was ballast from the oyster schooners. Now, on the southern part of the peninsula is Cape Disappointment State Park. It's got stunning scenery, beaches, campsites, and the North Head Lighthouse. It's one of a handful of local lighthouses where you can actually spend the night on the grounds. In fact, you can spend the night in the lighthouse keeper's home. Here's more. When the North Head Lighthouse rose from the rocks in 1898, it was right next door to a neighboring lighthouse. It is built two miles north of the Cape Disappointment Lighthouse. Those are the two closest lighthouses on the west coast. They're close for a good reason. The stretch of water they guard, the mouth of the Columbia River, is deadly. It's nicknamed the Graveyard of the Pacific, and there have been approximately 2,000 shipwrecks out here. Today, the North Head Lighthouse still flashes an automated warning beacon, but there's no need for a live-in keeper. History's loss is recreation's gain. Travelers can stay in the Lighthouse Keeper's home for $200 a night. There's really a lot of interest in lighthouses these days. Washington State Park started renovations here in 1996 to bring in more revenue. Staying in the head keeper's home is enough to make you feel like a lighthouse keeper yourself. Steep stairs, banisters that look like lighthouse lenses, and views of a stormy sea out of nearly every window. Now this is the third keeper's house? Or? Right, the second assistant. Visitors learn lighthouse lore as well, like pecking order. The farther back you go, the lower you are on the... Right, the further you are from the lighthouse, the lower you are on the hierarchy. The hierarchy was also um, identified by the number of candles they had in their chandelier. The head light keeper had six candles in his chandelier. The first assistant had five and the second assistant had four. The park is renovating the assistant keeper's house and will be booking guests in it soon. These unique homes are perfect for adventurers who have a bit of salt running in their veins. And if you show up late for your reservation, they'll leave the light on for you. The price to stay at the North Head Lighthouse Keeper's home has gone up a bit, but it's still a good deal because it sleeps six. The Assistant Lighthouse Keeper's home also sleeps six, and nearby is Fort Columbia State Park, where they also have historic homes you can stay in. These are all a part of the Washington State Park System. Up next, where else but Long Beach can you find a two-headed cow and the chair alone? Scared? Nah. Super Rudy Tutti Fresh and Fruity. Too. Embarrassing to say, delicious to eat. It's the Super Rudy Tutti Fresh and Fruity starting at $4.99. It's value covered with fruit and whipped top. I'll come hungry, leave happy. Have something you love doing? Cheerios could be your ticket to do it, big time. You could win a once-in-a-lifetime chance to live your passion by choosing from 10 never dream possible prizes. From a customized VIP vacation to a Hollywood red carpet experience to cooking with a celebrity chef and more. Find details on specially marked boxes of Cheerios. Why Cheerios? Because whatever you love doing, you'll need a healthy heart to do it. Hello, I'm Bill Gates Sr. and I love our state. That's why I helped write Initiative 1098. Middle class families are struggling. 1098 will cut state property taxes by 20% and eliminate the B&O tax for small businesses. It will dedicate $2 billion a year to improve education and health care. And only the wealthiest 1.2% will pay more. Support Initiative 1098. It's good for Washington. If ever you're not satisfied with one of our tires, please feel free to bring it back. Thank you. Discount Tire Company. What it means to work at Discount Tire is taking care of people the right way and giving them great service. Integrity to me means doing the right thing each and every time, no matter what. Without integrity, really there wouldn't be a discount tire. We're not just a garage or another tire shop. We're in the people business and we're there for you. Come on down to Discount Tire and you'll see the difference. I don't know, Doc. I feel all bloaty. That's because I plumped you. I plumped you good. I injected you with salt water. So not only do you look plumper, you also weigh more. So people have to pay more. 
A lot of chickens have it done. Are Foster Farms chickens plumped with salt water? Yeah, Doc, because we want to look naturally plump. Hey, Marcy, do these chickens look naturally plump? Yes, very natural. Although we could go plumper. Say no to plumping. Foster Farms, always natural, always fresh. Coming up on the next Evening Magazine, it's time to do the Puyallup, and we have tickets to give away. Plus, the Stormer in the championship, and we're with them all the way. Join us for Evening Magazine, Monday at 7 on King 5. Welcome back to Northwest Backroads from the sleepy town of Oysterville, where we've been enjoying an historic walking tour. Behind me is the 1907 Old Oysterville Schoolhouse. Now, south of here is Long Beach, where you can find raucous good times. They do everything beach there. They have kite flying and sand sculpting, as we showed you earlier in the show. They also claim to have the world's largest frying pan, the world's largest squirting clam, and, uh, of course, the longest beach. Uh, it's a little over the top down there, especially this Long Beach institution. Marsh's Free Museum in Long Beach is a shrine to all things strange. Where else could you see a genuine alligator man and sit in the throne of love? All for free. Strange? Uh, oh yeah, we've had people describe it as strange, weird, corny, uh, tacky. Test your attention factor on the throne of love. Oh, I would describe it probably off the wall. Whoa! <laughs> this tacky treasure trove has been in Dave Marsh's family for decades. Dave's granddad was a collector. We have two-headed pig, authentic. Evidently, granddad's motto was, the grosser, the better. By the way, this is a human tapeworm in a bottle. There's a little bottle right up in here. The ball that is made from human skin is right next to the uh, turtle. Tame nickel peep shows, music boxes, and a freeze-dried former pet round out this eclectic collection. Oh, and of course, the throne of love. <laughs> oh, the throne of love? Sure, that's a chair that you sit in, you pause it a quarter, and uh, it gives you a little vibration, it vibrates. <laughs> the biggest attraction at Marsh's is probably this guy. Jake, he's half man, half alligator. Jake has been x-rayed. They spotted 12 ribs and a spine for the record. And he's gotten national press. But skeptics still remain. Is Jake real? That would be the most often asked question. Whether or not Jake is real isn't really the point of this place. It's not a lot of places you can come in and buy a stuffed Western Diamondback that's seven foot long. Marsh's Free Museum is a shrine to the lost art of carnival kitsch. You will definitely uh, hopefully leave with a smile. Yeah! Jake the Alligator Man recently celebrated his fourth annual 75th birthday, whatever that means, and they had a huge Jake cake that fed over 400 people. Now, if you'd like to skip the Jake cake and try other local fare, you can't do much better than Jamela's Seafood Market and Cafe. This tiny cafe serves food that's local, sustainable, and freshly caught. You can sit down in their restaurant or have a more do-it-yourself experience by picking really fresh fish, foraged chanterelles, or locally made products at their market. Owners Jamela and Nancy owned the now-closed Ark, which was a Long Beach institution for 20 years. If you want a true taste of the Long Beach Peninsula, this is your place. Thanks for joining us on Northwest Backroads from Oysterville on the Long Beach Peninsula. While I was here, I learned that the locals call this the North Beach Peninsula. But whatever you call it, the six communities here are great to visit, whether you want beach activity, local food, or you just want a nice, quiet, historic walk. Thanks for being with us. I'll see you down the road. Accommodations provided by the Charles Nelson Guest House in Ocean Park. Thank you. We'll be right back after this offering.
King 5 is part of Belo. From coast to coast, Belo Media Company share the high standards of journalism and community service. Listed on the New York Stock Exchange as BLC. The Olympia Farmer's Market is now open every Thursday through Sunday from 10 to 3. Discover locally grown produce, plants and flowers, locally made arts and crafts, live entertainment and world-class food. The Olympia Farmer's Market at the foot of Capitol Way in Olympia. Have you ever walked into a mattress store and felt like you were being preyed upon? At Mattress Depot USA, you'll never feel that kind of pressure. We get it. Our sales team is friendly and extremely knowledgeable. We're a local company run by local people, and we offer the best quality mattresses from local manufacturers. At Mattress Depot USA, you'll always get a quality, comfortable mattress at the very best price. And you'll never have to wait for a sale. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Our economic problems didn't start yesterday. They've been building for years. Some wanted to ignore them, but I told you the truth. Government spending and debt are out of control, destroying jobs and threatening our future. We need to meet these challenges head on by controlling spending, reducing the debt, ending bailouts and earmarks. I'm Dino Rossi, and I approve this message. Our economic problems didn't start yesterday, but we need to start fixing them today. 800-800-8553. can help when others can't. Apply online at PureMoneyMart.com or call 800-800-8553. An American debut at the Seattle Art Museum. Picasso. Masterpieces from the Musée National Picasso Paris. Tickets at PicassoInSeattle.org. Opens October 8th. Pull your face mask down. What about the chest guard? It looks loose. Is it loose? Okay, here comes the heat. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who would love to put up with you. News to you on your iPhone. The King 5 News app. News, weather, sports, anytime, anywhere. Go to king5.com and download it today. A conversation with David Gregory of Meet the Press, September 21st at Town Hall. Moderated by King 5's Gene Anderson. Order tickets at seattlecityclub.org. She had acid thrown in her face by another woman. What the mother of five is telling Inside Edition. This is a sketch of your attacker. Do you know this person? And the just released 911 call. Somebody just threw acid on my mom. Then, lion attack caught on tape. The honeymooners who shot the video. Really was shocking. Plus, Snooki goes to court. Very embarrassed. This is not like me. The judge's crack that has Lindsay Lohan's parents fuming. You seem to be acting like a Lindsay Lohan wannabe. And Megan McCain versus Sarah Palin. My initial reaction was, who the hell is Sarah Palin? Plus, supermodel showdown at the world's biggest fashion show. Oh. Now. Inside Edition Weekend. The dramatic 911 calls from two acid attacks. As one of the victims speaks out. Hi, everybody. I'm Paul Boyd. And I'm Diane McInerney. It may be the ultimate act of evil. Strangers throwing acid in the faces of two women. Now we're hearing the dramatic 911 calls from those attacks. And in an Inside Edition exclusive, one of the victims tells Megan Alexander what she did to prevent even worse damage to her face. 911 emergency. Somebody just threw acid on my mom. She just pulled out of the car. She just got home from work and somebody threw acid on her. You are listening to the frantic 911 call made just moments after Derry Velarde was drenched in Where acid by a female attacker she'd never seen before. She almost looked like she was going to walk past me really casually. Um, and then she just stopped and she turned and looked at me like she was going to call me a name, really, is what I thought. And then she just threw the cup on me. Initially, like, for the first second, I thought she threw a cup of water in my face, but it instantly started to burn. It was on fire, so I, I knew it was, you know, acid or something like that. Scalded on her face, chest, and back, Derry staggered into her Mesa, Arizona home while her 18-year-old daughter Jasmine called for help. I screamed for my daughter to open the door. I was just screaming, call 911, someone poured acid on me. What do I do? She has acid on her body. Just wait for the paramedics. She was just crying. I've never seen my mom cry like that before. I 
felt like my skin was melting. That's, it just felt like it was just in my flesh. So the acid burned through your clothing? Oh yeah, it disintegrated my clothes. Mom, do you know who the person is that threw acid on you? 